Hi guys, it's CryptoRocko here and in today's video we're talking about one of my favourite coins, Litecoin. If you guys have followed me, you know how bullish I am on Litecoin in the long run. In today's video, we've got a very special video, so make sure you watch till the end. We're going to do a price price analysis, price prediction for May and the, and the long term and talk about some of the use cases and adoption of Litecoin. So if you are a Litecoin, Litecoin fan, make sure you watch the video till the end. But before I get into this video, a quick update on the market. Um, the, all of the coins are doing really well. Bitcoins, Bitcoin specifically, have been doing uh, quite well. It's almost reaching ten thousand. Um, if you guys watch me, that you know that I'm, I'm, I was thinking there might be another dip, and I didn't buy in at around eight thousand. I kind of, I didn't FOMO in, but I did buy some around nine and a half, nine six. Um, so not 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 a massive position. I just bought small a small position in Bitcoin because I don't <laughs> don't want to miss the rally. But I still think there might be a dip around ten thousand. But there might not be. That's just my prediction. Watch my previous analysis to understand why I'm saying that. And some of the old coins are kind of draining because Bitcoin and all, all, these old coins have been doing quite well in the past few weeks. So. As Bitcoin has been rallying, they they ha they haven't been going up as much. But this video is mainly about Litecoin, so let's look have a look at Litecoin. So Litecoin have, has gone up from um around less than 150 to over over 170. So Litecoin is doing really well. And if you guys follow me on Twitter, I sent out a trading signal on the second of May. Um, that and if you if you followed that, you would have got bitcoin before 150 so i'm doing quite well with litecoin i'm a massive fan of litecoin anyway but i bought i bought some more around 150 just above 150 so i'm, I'm really happy with the litecoin gains that i've got and um, but before just one thing guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, please subscribe to my channel i'll do videos on litecoin and um, the old cryptocurrency bitcoin latest cryptocurrency news and i also do bitcoin half a litecoin giveaway so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel and leave your litecoin addresses below to win half a litecoin in my future videos and um, i do them quite often i've done one in, a, in a recently and i'll do another one very soon so if you want that guys scroll down subscribe to my channel turn on the notification button and leave your litecoin addresses not your bitcoin address litecoin addresses below so let's get into this video why did i think litecoin was going to go up main reason i thought litecoin would go up is because it's, it was consolidating massively it had a massive downfall it, it went down to seventh and you know how we've talked about litecoin before the use cases and how good of a project it is it shouldn't be down at seventh it should be a lot higher so we were expecting litecoin to have a jump and um, if you looked looked at the charts i don't share my technical analysis i like to keep these videos easy to understand easy to digest for for all my fans and um, but litecoin was consolidating a lot so it was due a bounce so that's one of the that's one reason i said to buy litecoin there's other reasons that i'll go through so litecoin dropped below its seventh position and another positive news that has been coming up for litecoin is litecoin is they've uh, been planning to be even more decentralized the main reason we like this blockchain and cryptocurrency is decentralization and charlie lee is hoping and wanting to make it even more decentralized and litecoin and the market litecoin has gone up you know 7.78 percent against the dollar and people are expecting it to go up even more it's not going to just run up to 300 there's going to be more dips it's going to it's going to take time to get there but i'm massively bullish on litecoin in the long run and it's this this article talks about that bulls are on <laughs> Bulls are on their way to Litecoin, and Litecoin has been going up higher than Bitcoin. The like Bitcoin and Litecoin pairing, Litecoin is doing really, really well in in almost all of the charts. So, and another another quick thing to add is Wirex. Again, I'll go into a detail on this, but Wirex adds Litecoin to payment cards. This is what I like about Litecoin. They they're going for adoption. Key resistance level for Litecoin. This is. Uh, not not as recent this chart but a uh, resistance level was 167 litecoin has pushed through that so next next resistance level could be around the 180 mark and um, but it's, it's good that it's broken through and if it stays about it stays above that i might add to my litecoin positions and um, this could be one reason why litecoin went up massively reddit plans to provide support for litecoin and ethereum reddit is not as of a big player but there's a reddit is huge for cryptocurrency as in people you there's loads of forums and if you watch my previous video whenever i analyze a, a coin i read i go into their reddit community i've tried to understand a lot about the from their reddit forums so it's really important to check reddit and and as if they add litecoin and bitcoin it shows they like litecoin and bitcoin uh, uh, sorry litecoin and ethereum 
and they're in that kind of the top three of cryptocurrencies and it just gives adoption more exposure so it's a positive it's not a game changer but it is a big positive and he talks about how how much he likes litecoin as well and roger Ver, i'm not going to talk about this guy's bitcoin cash and, and i don't i don't like it I'm, i might do a video comparing roger Ver and, and litecoin because i think litecoin will take over uh, bitcoin cash in the near future just talks about reddit plans to take bitcoin once again along with litecoin and ethereum again more and more people are talking about litecoin on ethereum it feels it doesn't feel like december yet but it's good that more and more people are talking about it, it means more money is coming in and and the main reason that i like litecoin is litecoin is going for adoption they're going for a use case i know they had i, I, I made a video slightly negative connotation about light pay I wasn't happy about it, but Litecoin is trying to drive adoption. They're trying to provide value and solve real world issues. They're not. It's not just about hype and quick transfer and partnership. They're trying to increase adoption, and they've started this Litecoin accepted here. And and as you can see, Charlie Lee's Twitter. And he's quite vocal on it, and he's 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 a quite a charismatic leader. I, I, I mean, I used to respect, I still respect him a lot. There are things that I don't like about him, but one thing that I do like about him is Litecoin is trying to drive usage and adoption, which is what we want to see. We do not want to see more just random partnership, random speed, random hype. We want to see real world use cases, and that is what Litecoin is doing. Litecoin payments, pay with Litecoin, and all these initiatives is good for cryptocurrency and for Litecoin. And this is one of the main reasons i like litecoin if you go through their twitter post you can see litecoin accepted litecoin accepted so follow charlie lee guys twitter is awesome for understanding and and uh, getting really good crypto information and follow me as well rockstar crypto on on twitter so this is what something else I want to show you. So it just shows Litecoin, uh, the Wirex payment. Wirex is a platform which is rapidly growing because it is in their best interest to add new services and currencies. Litecoin has got huge potential. There's huge community which is already using it. So there is going to have to be a lot of demand for these services in the market. So it just shows guys why uh, accepting Litecoin is again not a game changer but slow, slow, slowly, slowly, gradual steps towards adoption which will help Litecoin. Like, now I'm going to do a bit of uh, technical analysis again. I'm not just sharing my charts. These are fairly easy to digest. It talks about, you know, resistance level and support levels and it talks about that. These were some key resistance level 155 to 156 and um, some people said it will go trade as high, high as 164 before starting a downward correction. So there's just reading these guys you'll learn a lot more about technical analysis and maybe in the future I will start doing technical analysis but it is quite time consuming and a lot of people uh, want the news rather than technical analysis and lots of people don't believe in technical analysis. I mean I do and I think it works but Anyways, guys, I just want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, this guy said if it, if it closes above 160 level, it might push towards 160, uh, 64. Further above recent high, the price could accelerate to 170. So it, we are, it is quite bullish, guys. It's, it's broken 170, so there might be a pullback. But some of the analysis, I like to go and look at previous um, older analysis because it it, help, it helps you make learn uh, your mistakes. So I always go back and see my old trades on and read read about people's analysis after like the old analysis because it makes you understand a bit more so this talks about the reddit partnership and using it as a payment method and as a quick technical analysis and this is talking about 180 180 is probably our next uh, resistance level where we where there could be a small pullback or a, a longer pullback we'll have to see but again you can't predict the future price you'll have to see how the market reacts and that's why i'm a, I'm a crypto and tech, crypto addict and crypto trading ad addict um again it talks about clearly broke uh, breaking open the way to 700 handle and 292 in the long run so there might be a small pullback at 170 and it could hit 290 in 192 uh, in the long run around 200 mark that could be brilliant for um, litecoin and finally this is the latest one that i'll show you just talks about some bearish uh, momentum in the short term with macd and rsi level because we're saying whatever goes up too quickly it might fall down quicker there's a there's a thing saying that anything that goes up too quickly it also falls down that quickly as well so we need healthy growth and there might be a small pullback before it goes up but it's looking like it's going to go towards 170 but it's broken 170 so the litecoin is quite bullish at the moment but 170 170 is going to be quite a, a bit of a resistance so if it stays above this line guys i might add my positions in litecoin guys
So uh, that was a bit of the technical analysis. Now some very speculative stuff. I mean, I'm not necessarily, I'm not going to say that it's going to, I'm not really going to comment on this article, but I'll just take you through it. It just talks about top reasons why Amazon will choose Litecoin. So Litecoin failed to get the uh, token pay partnership that would have been quite good uh, they're working with Verge now uh, which is strange but hey ho Verge is good at partnering and they've, 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 what they're doing with their coin there is no there is perhaps one good reason why Amazon needs a cryptocurrency for payments and another good reason why Litecoin could be the best fit so why is Litecoin a uh, top choice among top coins global presence to handle Amazon's need none comes out better than Litecoin already accepted by an increasing number of payment providers is. The foundation is already there for it to upgrade. There are rumors of Facebook being in the works, but that has that was quashed when <laughs> Facebook sought to distance itself from cryptocurrency. So, and Charlie Lee could be the person who brings Amazon to Litecoin. I'll I'll leave this leave this article for you guys to make up your own mind and read it in your own time. I'm not saying it will add. A Litecoin to Amazon but these are sort of the news that we saw before when Litecoin went crazy and it was mooning and other cryptocurrencies were going up but this was speculative I wasn't sure whether to share it or not I'm not saying Litecoin will be added to Amazon but I thought it was something nice and Litecoin fans I've got a lot of Litecoin subscribers in on, on my channel um, so I thought some of the Litecoin fans would like this. Um, a bit more realistic stuff. So is Litecoin changing its game plan by going for a mass adoption? So this is why I like Litecoin over you know other coins and Bitcoin Cash specifically. Litecoin is trying to drive adoption and they're trying to solve a real world problem. An increased activity in the marketing strategy of Charlie Lee and his team as they're seemingly going for mass adoption for their coin. If you go on that Twitter page, if you if you talk to uh, people from Litecoin or on Twitter, you'll see that Litecoin is doing his best uh, to get businesses accepting Litecoin and they're, start, so they're starting that tweet I've tweeted this as well does your business accept Litecoin and, and the more adoption it gets guys the more people are going to be using Litecoin and the price will come guys P don't think about just price mooning now it's it's about a, it's a long term game guys I'm I'm a hodler and I I, I mean I, I, sh I show my technical analysis because I do trade and I've got Forex and stocks trading background so I like to trade it with a part of my portfolio but I am in it for the long run guys um, just talks about whichever the community project that was mentioned only 25, uh, 24 hours ago on the 26th of April already sounds promising for Litecoin that is struggling to get back on track. Um, it's, been, it's, it's talking about the price. Um, Litecoin to be produced by Wirex. I've just mentioned it already. This is a major, uh, already connected to all major Visa cards. However, in addition with dealing with Visa, Wirex also promotes idea of using cryptos as a payment method. So... Wirex being the second crypto accepted by this wallet app that way take another step towards this strategy of having having Litecoin globally accepted. The partnership with Litecoin and 10x was announced two weeks ago. This is another great news, guys. After Litecoin failed to pay, uh, failed to launch Litepay, which I mentioned before, I was disappointed with not because not not because they failed, because the communication, because like being Litecoin and Litepay would have been amazing. It would have taken Litecoin to the next level. Level. So I was a bit skeptical about whether it would happen or not. I raised my concerns, but I, I I was just really confident, and I was just kind of blown away by the by the goals and statements that Litecoin was coming out with. I thought they were a bit over optimistic. But anyways, guys, they're still trying with 10x team, hoping that their wallet platform is going to be a platform of choice for many LTC users and hodlers. And they're trying to use Litecoin powered debit cards with great expectation out of this partnership. It talks about WikiLeaks, Leaks Shop, and it just talks about the adoption, guys. This is what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about price all the time. This adoption is what we cryptocurrency need. And Litecoin is leading the way. This is the main reason I've said Litecoin going to the moon in May and late 2018 in general. I'm very bullish in Litecoin. Starts adoption campaign Litecoin accepted here, which is what I'm which is what I've been talking about. Litecoin and mass adoption campaign. This is something that I really like. It's come out fairly new as well. Uh, end of April has come out, but they're already trying Litecoin with Wirex, Litecoin and the a WikiLeaks shop and massive adoption campaign. There are some. I'll, I'll share another really good partnership as well, which is which might seem a bit strange, but you'll see that is is quite good. It shows. Litecoin is previously traded against Bitcoin. This is still the case. Litecoin is rising up one point, almost two percent against Bitcoin. I think it's a lot higher now, um, but it shows that Litecoin 
is rising up against Bitcoin as well. Not just the rising in price, it's rising quicker than Bitcoin. And um, it need, and it was long expected because Litecoin has fallen down massively uh, against Bitcoin. Litecoin accepted here, mass adoption. Again, this is something that we like to see. Litecoin accepted here. More, more and more of this, guys, and we will be happy. This is a, a funny partnership. This is a partnership with Market Watch, but Market Watch is used by older generation. So an older generation are not keen on crypto and and Litecoin, but it just shows that how how far stretching Litecoin is. If they can get partnership with people like Market Watch, this is good for this is good for cryptocurrency and Litecoin. And the good thing is, guys, um, this news wasn't wasn't even mainstream i had to dig around to find this news so things are happening in the background for litecoin so do not expect the price to go back to 350 or 500 or 600 or whatever that is give it time and it will work litecoin is working in the background that is something that i really like this adoption thing um this is something that I'll talk about maybe in one of my future videos. What could Litecoin be worth in 10 years? I've got some really good ideas and this article talks about it in, in a while. But for this video, I'll probably talk about it in my future videos. So that was my kind of prediction on Litecoin. In, in May, Litecoin could do really well. But I'd like to hear your thoughts, guys. What did you think of this video? Do you think Litecoin will go up massively in 2018? Do you think there will be another dip before it goes up or it goes up in May? What do you think the price will be at the end of May and the end of 2018? I know we care about adoption and partnerships, but a lot of people care about the price as well because I want to make money, but I want to see cryptocurrency solve real-world issues. But anyways, guys, what is your prediction for Litecoin for end of 2018? please leave your comments below and with your litecoin addresses if you want to win half a litecoin so thank you very much for watching this video guys subscribe to my channel smash that like button share it with your friends and family on twitter facebook swipe right on tinder <laughs> just subscribe to my channel guys <laughs> it's, it's, sorry it was a rubbish joke but i just wanted to say it because i keep saying subscribe to my channel like my videos i feel like it's uh, saying <laughs> swipe right on tinder for me uh, but no guys subscribe to my channel smash that like button and leave the like coin addresses below if you want to win half a like coin and i'll see you guys soon with another great video